Hola a todos, Happy Easter, Feliz Semana Santa. Uh, well, here we are, it's Easter time, uh, and we are enjoying with some uh, nice days as a holiday break. Well, in the house. Uh, lots of projects in the garden, I'll need to show you the garden at some point, what we are doing. Uh, and I would like to, to introduce you to the Spanish omelette. Uh, this is one of the top like uh, tapas um, and, and things you can eat in Spain. It's so nice, it's vegetarian. Uh, I hope you, you enjoy. Uh, one of the ingredients I miss is the olive oil, which is like the king of the ingredients on, on today's recipe. Uh, don't worry if it's like a lot of it because you are going to reutilize the olive oil. You can use later for roasting, everything. So don't worry, it's no waste at all. Uh, so uh, please give it a go. It's, it's nice. It can be eaten any time of the day, for breakfast, for lunch, any time. Enjoy! For the ingredients, is a little bit eyeballing on the potato section because basically potatoes can be bigger or smaller. So we're going to add some potatoes, it doesn't matter which type of potato, one onion, uh, six eggs and the most important, a non-stick uh, medium pan. Uh, don't try, don't attempt to do that with a non-stick pan, uh, it won't work. Right, so uh, you can do this in the machine, or, but I, I like to do it by hand. So basically you peel the onion and uh, you need to chop it quite thin, to be honest. Not extreme, but... Um, with the other one basically a lot of people do all in one uh, step but I'll do it separately maybe this is one of my secret tips uh, we want the onion to be a uh, very like mellow and golden and, and poached basically so uh, the longer the best um, and while I'll, I'll have this in a medium heat and I'll keep a constant eye I'm gonna uh, go and peel the potatoes Sorry, I forgot to mention there was like a uh, one tablespoon of oil of extra virgin olive oil, um, just in case. <laughs> right, so uh, once uh, you wash the potatoes, uh, we need to uh, cut them. Uh, the tip is uh, to cut them in the same size so they cook uh, all together at the same time. Let's go with it. Right, so this is the stage I would like the onion uh, and this is one of my tips, you do the onion first and then uh, we're gonna fry now the potatoes. So doing this separate, uh, we make sure um, that the onion is not gonna burn. Uh, so I'm gonna retire the, the onion onto a plate. Now we're gonna fry the potatoes, as I said, uh, the onion is here on uh, one side. Uh, I would recommend to use olive oil, no extra virgin. Uh, be generous with the, with the oil, don't, don't worry about that. Uh, we're gonna eat a lot, but we can reutilize uh, almost all of it. Uh, I'll show you, I'll show you how is it going. Uh, right, I'm not sure you can see uh, the level of the oil. I don't put like till the top because uh, it expands normally if it's a good quality oil. Uh, and the most important thing is uh, we want the potatoes to uh, cook like at a medium heat. We don't want them to uh, be burned, but we don't want them to be like, um, you know, uh, white. So we just need to keep a constant eye. Uh, this is going well. Uh, just, you know, from time to time, just uh, separate a little bit, make sure they don't stack. Uh, to each other, keep a constant eye because it's easy just to forget and uh, you know they burn. And this can take a good 15 minutes to be honest, uh, so uh, don't worry. <laughs> the potatoes are almost done, so I'm gonna advance the next step. So, uh, in one bowl, I'll crack six eggs. 
Uh, and then I'm gonna add uh, some salt. I do like fine salt, fine table salt. I would be like slightly generous with the salt, but don't overwhelm. Uh, I'm gonna uh, beat the eggs and incorporate the onion. The potatoes are done. I know they are done because uh, they are fluffy and then when I'll just turn there are a few a few edges that they are like a uh, brown and don't don't worry you know if they break uh, on on the second step because it's gonna go everything on the on the omelette so I'll show you what I do right, because there's a lot of oil and I don't want an oily uh, Spanish omelette uh, what I'll do is I have like a, a bowl uh, then can fit with a colander, the colander is all dry uh, so basically I'm gonna put all the potatoes here and, and let like um, separate the potatoes from the oil so I can reuse the oil for other things uh, so let's, let's do it just be careful when doing this, try to put all the oil Okay. I'll let it sit, I mean don't bother about maybe trying to get all the oil from the pan, just leave a little bit and uh, let's make sure we keep the pan warm um, and what we are going to do is uh, we'll let it sit like um, one or two minutes and then uh, here I have like uh, the onion and, and the egg and we'll make sure this is like get all the oil out and then we mix the potatoes there you go we mix the potatoes and right so this is my oil and this I'm mixing here the potatoes with the onion and the egg and then this is gonna go into the pan right now okay, we have medium heat we have a little bit of oil in the pan uh, we want this to be quite hot uh, and so let's wait a little bit and then we're going to add all the eggy potato mixture right and basically what you need to do is to um, standardize okay just make sure you know, just press a little bit. The more you press, the best. So, uh, you need to press everything down. Okay, so there are no uh, holes. So, just make sure you go to all the sides. Right. Okay. So this is probably the most important part. Uh, you need to make sure, you know, it's it's cooked. Sometimes you can smell it's cooked, uh, but the other thing is you need to make sure like the sides are quite strong enough uh, because now we need to flip this omelette. That's probably the most dangerous bit. Uh, so um, just, you know, keep like looking underneath if it's like, you know, got a nice golden color, like um, it has this right now. I think it's ready to flip okay you know just do do like that if it's golden underneath that means it's ready uh, to make to help the flipping to be more smooth uh, I would like put some uh, olive oil so this is for the the other side and then uh, just go and fetch a plate right let's try this uh, don't be scared uh, and let's do it together. So basically, uh, you make sure you put like a plate. Let's uh, turn off a little bit the fire. Just make sure you put a plate. And don't think about it. You just need to do it. One, two, three. And you flip it. Okay? And look at that color. And now what we need to do is just shake a little bit. There we go. Uh, that worked. Okay, and then uh, put it on the fire. Uh, I slow down a little bit the fire because it's quite um, this is well done this side. So just keep pressing as well. Press, press, press. Okay. 
press, press, press. And we can flip it like um, different, you know, more times if we want. So let's wait a little bit and we, we do it together. So to have a look how does it look like on the other side, this, this is just easy now because we know it's not going to drip anything. Uh, so I'll put the plate again and we do the round. Okay, so, you know, it still, still can go a little bit more. So let's press again. There's some people that like the middle bit raw. Uh, it's not my thing, uh, but you can decide whole raw. Oh, well done, you want your omelette. Um, so basically I'm gonna do like a little bit more on this side and then we're gonna flip it again. The last tip is if you are not sure if it's like uh, cooking up in the middle, uh, just turn off the fire like I'm doing right now uh, and I let it sit there for like um, five ten minutes and then you just can put it on the plate. <laughs> 